to embark on an extended... Hey everybody, it's Mike Lowe from Season 2 of Alone. And that's me and all my friends. I'd like to share a running commentary on Episode 1. Let's get started. What's going to be more difficult, being alone or staying alive? That was so amazing when they flew me out there to drop me off. One of the first things I see is a bunch of bears on the very site they're going to drop me off. The helicopter landed right near here. Of course, the bears ran off into the woods, but I kept running into these bears. There was a lot of them out there. It was a real threat. It was always on my mind. And I know everybody else was thinking about it, too. Oh, this is fresh. This is fresh bear scab right here. I mean, this is probably 20 to 30 minutes old. I'm not sure, maybe an hour. Um, I got to get out of here. Man, can you imagine that? Within the first few hours of being out there, you step in the middle of a fresh steaming pile of bear scat. That's a harbinger. That's an omen. That would weigh on your mind. It ended up in uh, Desmond choosing to leave early that same day he was put out. But I wouldn't be hard on him. You weren't there. We don't know the whole story. And I'm sure there was more to it. And the good thing is Desmond is alive to tell about it. He didn't stay out there and ended up getting injured or killed. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, judge him for this. I've got his back on this one, and I hope you do too. Yeah, this is pretty. That's insane watching Larry fight the good fight hiking up that hillside to try and find a better shelter site. It was insane out there. It was very dense, thick, difficult to move. Man, you're going to enjoy this story that Larry's telling. Powerful, amazing stuff. Oh, this is tough. This is a hard part. It's so hard looking at something so awesome, knowing that it could kill you. Man, Tracy is so right. Having all that food, it was a huge amount of clams and, and mussels. You could have been fat, dumb, and happy out there, but we couldn't touch it because of the algae bloom. Whew, you can't imagine how that wears on your mind to be all around that and you can't eat it. It's like a child in a candy shop. There's all this candy, but you can't eat it. Very tough. Very tough indeed. <laughs> Look at Tracy's camp. This is the first half day we're out there. She's already got a beautiful shelter, an amazing fire, a drying rack over it. I'm very impressed. That was a lot of work to get done in that first half day. You're going to really enjoy Tracy's story. I know I am going to. It rained all night. No big surprise. I'm still just pissed off about my boots. I can't. It's going to be days before my boots dry out. Days. My sleeping bag is down, and once down gets wet, it's near impossible to get dry in these conditions, and I need a dry sleeping bag. Man, when Mary Kate stepped off that plane into the ocean and the water filled up her boots, oh man, that just made me cringe. She's going to be dealing with wet boots for a long time. And then it rains that night, and it just rains and rains and rains on this island. And then her sleeping bag gets wet, and some of her gear and clothing. Whew. 
she really had a hard start out there. But I think you're going to enjoy what she does from here on. I'm looking forward to watching Mary Kate's story. So this is a preview of what's to come in, in uh, future episodes. They show me here with my box trap you know, demonstrating how it works. And you may be curious, do I actually catch anything with it? Well, you're going to have to keep watching. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with the results. And uh, so anyhow, folks, that is my commentary on episode one of season two. And I hope you guys enjoy watching it as much as we enjoyed filming it. And uh, so anyhow, more about this later on. So God bless you. all have a great day. Thanks for watching.